y'all. I think I have found the best scary movie of 2024. And you can quote me on that. The Deliverance! Woo! If you like gore, and I'm talking about rated R showing everything gore, you, you gonna like it. If you like possession movies, exorcism movies, you gonna like it. You know when it's good, I'ma jump right into the rating. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And what I'm gonna do for this review, the first half, I'm going to give a spoiler free review. And then the second half, we, we gonna get into it, okay? So one thing that I wanted to talk about straight out the gate is that this movie has captured a lot of the black community, okay? A lot of us watching this movie because it's Lee Daniels, all right? He made The Butler, Precious, The Reading, Monsters Ball, Empire, Star, the, the list goes on. And this was Lee Daniels' like first horror, horror movie. And I feel like the black community didn't expect that. And so they kind of took it like, oh no, this is demonic. I don't like this. This is the worst thing I've ever watched. Why y'all showing this to me? Y'all letting demons in our houses and blah, blah, blah. Cause that's just how us black people are, okay? Especially us religious black people. The, the Baptist, the Southern, the Methodist, all that stuff. We don't play when it comes to demons. Now, somebody like me, I am a horror movie head. I understand how serious the spiritual world is as well. And so I always do things to protect myself and to make sure I'm not allowing those energies and those presences into my home. So I want to say this, if you are not a horror movie person, you don't like the exorcist or anything that has to do with demons, do not watch this movie. You will not like it. It goes there. Okay, if you are into that kind of thing, you gonna love this. You need to watch it and watch it again and then watch it one more time and then wait a day and then watch it some more. And also for my people that's worried about the demonic spirits, they did have a priest on set praying over the set. They were praying over each other. So this, this project was heavily prayed over if that makes you feel better. Now to get into the meat and the mashed potatoes. The acting! First of all, just, just so you know, it, it is an exorcist movie, but instead of them calling it an exorcist, they call it a deliverance. So that's where the title came from. The little boy that was possessed in this movie, child, y'all, when I say he acted his tail off, like he, he had me creeped out. I don't know who was this little boy's acting coach, but you, you did the damn thing. Now, I was so pleasantly surprised at how well Andre Day played a ratchet mom a ratchet hood mom at that like i did not expect her to go that hard it, i mean she went so hard with the cussing the fighting just it was hard to watch for me because i can't stand people that act like that <laughs> and i really can't stand people that talk to their mom and their kids like that but when i say she embodied that character like she did what needed to be done because that was real that was authentic glenn close is what y'all glenn close Come on now, Miss. Movie. Miss Fatal Attraction herself. All right, that's all I got to say. The woman, she played the mother of Andre Day, okay? So she's a white woman that has a mixed child and she grew up in raising, raising her kids in the hood as well. And she played a hood white mama. And I was like, baby, you ate that and then on top of that she was going through cancer and so she would take this wig off and show her balding head Ugh, the prosthetics were amazing monique was in this movie and i don't know how y'all feel about monique but when i say i think monique should just kind of leave comedy alone and she's a great comedian but i feel like she she needs to just go ahead and transition to being a full-time actress because that woman don't miss when it comes to movies, she don't miss. I can just keep going down the list. L little homeboy from Stranger Things killed it. It, it. Everybody, everybody in this movie understood the assignment and A plus, 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 plus. Okay, that's what they got. Honestly, it's like the black version of Hereditary. And Hereditary is my favorite horror movie, okay? It's, it's, it's number one in my book. And it's like the black version. I was not expecting Lee Daniels 
to give me that type of horror movie and please watch it please now that was my spoiler free review let's get into the nitty gritty first things first let me just say this the scene that got me that hooked me that had me like all right we're playing ball was when they were talking about the family that lived in the house before this family and they showed that woman chopping off that man's head and then holding his body and showing his headless body and all of y'all i was like yeah! oh my god oh my god and what's funny is i was watching this without my husband he walked in on me watching this scene and he saw me just staring <laughs> like that the tv and was like oh it must be good yes i am happily going to watch this again with you later because it's that good now one thing that was low-key kind of pissing me off was like how monique's character just was like had that weird energy and growing up in an area a little bit rough i have seen homes and situations and things like this happen so i know that this is not far off from reality at all which by the way this movie is based off of true events and i just remember how uncomfortable i was for andre's character when monique kept showing up and being weird it, but i mean she was doing her job she was doing her job and andre was definitely beating them kids that was pissing me off as well but it, it her energy it just made me like mm, be the ass real quick please <laughs> which we saw glenn close was about to be about that life <laughs> and why are we talking about glenn close it was like at first i was kind of like girl stop talking to your mama like that stop stop talking to glenn close like that and then as more details were coming out about the childhood that she had i was like oh okay i get it i i see why you ain't got no respect for her because she was doing what and letting what happen to you y'all I... <sighs> but listen when them kids started getting possessed and and doing all that stuff i was like now wait a minute this this look too real this is too good but like after they picked the little boy up out the tub after his brother tried to drown him and the mama just hold him like oh god my baby and he's just looking y'all yeah! it was crazy <laughs> it was crazy and i know y'all see that viral that viral moment of glenn close when she comes back as the demon she's like I can smell y'all nappy. <laughs> I lost it. I lost it. And what was the point of Ajane's role? That lady sat here and stalked that family for the whole movie, thinking that she was going to be the one to carry out this deliverance exorcism and still gets God. The pointlessness of that woman. <laughs> she did good too in her role, but that, that, that character was just pointless. But let me tell you something right now. When Andre Day dropped down on that floor and she started singing it tough, I was like, honey, oh, yes, God. I was loving it. I, I got the Holy Ghost myself. Then when she went out on that block and beat that little boy tail for throwing something at her son, like, she ain't playing about her kids. But she was also the one abusing her kids, and that ain't all right. But I, I, I love seeing a good ratchet ghetto mama that don't play about her kids. I feel like the story was told well and beautifully and by beautifully i mean as creepy as possible the the acting again 10 out of 10 to everybody involved the production the quality of the prosthetics and things that were used like i hate watching movies with a bunch of cgi i can't stand it this was not one of those movies it looked good and it was good the material was good the cast and crew was good the director was good everything about this movie was good i'm telling you like i don't know what horror movie is gonna come out this year that's gonna top that it's a lot of good ones on deck but shout out to lee daniels boy you did that damn thing i feel like we need a lee daniels and a jordan peele collab like i feel like that movie or whatever they decide to do together because both of them can do good shows too i feel like that was slap make it happen please jordan and lee are y'all cool i hope y'all cool please make it happen this was the best way to start off spooky season okay like this just got me so hyped 
for everything that's about to come out this spooky season. If you have not watched it, it is on Netflix. It should have went to theaters if you want to be real. But please, please, please go watch The Deliverance, y'all. It's, it's so good. It's so good and scary. Drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think. And I'll see you for the next review. I don't even want to throw up my deuces because I'm missing nails. <laughs> I'm getting them done this weekend for Beetlejuice. I'm going to do it.